What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. Today's video, we're gonna talk about what are the best combos uh, of martial arts for self-defense. It's actually two separate combos that I would go for. Like if I wanted to uh, learn self-defense. So I'm, I mentioned this in another video. So the first combo would be boxing and wrestling that combo is great because well hands right something that you can learn relatively quickly get good at and after that wrestling because then you can take the guy down you can defend takedowns and then you can sprawl and brawl you, could, you know so those two would be my first choice for self-defense if you want to learn something really quick it's not necessarily 100 percent complete right you're not as well rounded as uh the other combo i'm going to talk about but that's a pretty good winning combo right there. What's the second best combo for street fighting self-defense? Muay Thai and BJJ. Excellent, classic combo. Like there's a lot of Brazilian uh, fighters in MMA and UFC that, uh, that became champions and that's essentially all they did. That was their main thing. I mean, of course they wrestled a little bit here and there. You know, BJJ guys, they, they incorporated a lot of wrestling too into their, uh, into their game. But that's an amazing combo because with now with Muay Thai, what happens is that it's more complete. So you have, uh, it's the art of eight limbs, right? So you use uh, your two fists, your elbows, right? Your knees and your feet. Plus you have clinch work in there. Of course, if you get the guy down, then you have your BJJ, which is, you know, very, uh, there's a lot of submissions in BJJ and uh, you learn how to control the person and so on and so on. I mean, you learn that in wrestling too, but here you control, but then there's a finale to it because you, you know you choke the guy out and all. First combo that I mentioned, right? It's more of a, I'm gonna say this, but I don't really mean it this way, but you guys know what I mean. It's kind of like a meathead combo. Like you come in barbarian style and you just wanna deck the guy, take him down, punch him, and that's it. Sometimes that's, that's all you need. <laughs> if you want a little bit more sophistication, then Muay Thai, and BJJ, because it's more sophisticated. You have more tools in your toolbox. It takes a little bit longer to master. Why do I choose like these, uh, just two arts like that? Well, because how much time do you really have, man, to, to train? If you want to uh, learn something for self-defense and you want to get this as, uh, as soon as possible, and you know, depending on what, where you live and what your options are, then uh, voila, you know? You need something standing up, striking, and you need to be able to do, uh, you know, to take somebody down and work on the ground. Even though in wrestling, okay, you'll be able to take the guy down, you'll, you'll be able to stay top position because uh, wrestling is all about staying on top. Uh, you know, the submission wise, well, you know, you're just gonna have to use your boxing and your fists, I mean, and punch him out. There you go. I hope that made sense, and I hope you guys, uh, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any comments, of course, leave them down below. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you can follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.